Welcome to Piggy Power. I'm going to show you how to change the cabin fill tray or pollen filter on a Ford Cougar. The right hand drive vehicles, it's on the passenger side, so open the passenger door and slide the drinker's seat back. Now let's dive on in, get yourself a good light. Definitely want a good light. Dive in. Okay, so it's back there, so we need to remove the fuse box container flippy down thing. Turn the two screws at the front anti-clockwise half a turn. It slides down, push down and pull, and it wiggles out of the way for you. Be careful with the wires. Don't yank too hard, but you do want it out of your way. Like so. Next, you need the bracket that holds that fuse box out of the way. Two 13mm nuts are required to be removed. So you'll need a 13mm spanner or socket or similar to turn the 13mm nuts anti-clockwise until they are free of their threads. Yep, that's one. That appears to be two. Now remove the bracket. It might get a bit caught up with the wiring, so, you know, be careful. Yep, that's a nut. Come on, remove the bracket. Wiring out the way. Just, just get it out. There we go, it's out. Then a 7mm socket to remove the two bolts remaining, two metal bolts or metal screws in the plastic housing that hold the cover on the cabin fill tray. There probably is a third higher up on some vehicles, but I reckon that most get removed once and never put back in because it is an absolute pig to get to. So, once those two screws are out of the way, make sure there isn't a third, just pull the cover off and put it out of the way. That's probably where the third one might have gone. Then with your fingers, nice and clean, pull the old filter out. It's a paper filter, so be careful it's not absolutely... Uh, sodden or something so it's soggy and doesn't rip and check the direction of airflow make sure you put the new air filter in or cabin filter in with the same direction arrows as the old one presuming the previous person put them in the right now you do have to manhandle them a little bit so make sure your hands are very clean or you put fresh gloves on and you will have to push and squeeze and wiggle and Collapse it a little bit to get it in the gap. Just make sure that as it has gone in, it pops up back square, back to a rectangle, and does the job of filtering out the pollen and the bits of dust and leaves and dead birds that you've hit along the way. Then put the cover back on. It does slide into a little slot closest to you, and then goes on a ridge at the back, lines up with the two screws. Now these two screws are metal in a plastic housing, so don't over-tighten them. Just do them by hand. Literally hand tight is more than enough. It's just a cover on a pollen filter, not your wheel bolts. Then we're going to put that bracket back. Just put it back as you found it. And the two bolts, again, they're really not needing to be very tight. Just make sure they don't come loose. Hand tight is more than enough with an average size 3.8 ratchet. Just like that. Then the little nobules on the back go in the little slots on the bracket so hold it at an angle slide it in and then lift the front up hold it at an angle look slide it on the bracket enjoy that ear wiggle it up and then turn those two thumb screws about half a turn clockwise until it's back in some might have a cover under there i've yet to see one but some might do if there are some fancy model Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>